Just coming into our newsroom, Jacksonville's Inspector General has released its investigation into Jacksonville Housing Authority President Fred McKinney. It paints a picture of sexual relationships with multiple employees. On your side, Jeff Vallon has been combing through the nearly 70 page report. Jeff, what did you find out? Anthony and Heather, the report summarizes an investigation that began in summer 2018 after a complainant who would be designated for protection as a whistleblower leveled allegations dating all the way back to 1997. Accusations against Fred McKinney's, who has been with JHA since 1993 and president and CEO since 2013, included, among other things, se sexual harassment and relationships and giving and receiving promotional favors to and from people with whom he was involved. The inspector general's investigation substantiates consensual sexual relationships with the whistleblower and one other direct report to McKinney's, as well as with a former JHA tenant. That includes sexual acts on company property. It does not substantiate the sexual harassment claim, which dates to about 1997. It also doesn't uphold the claims of unfair promotions or salary increases. Now, the report recommends establishment of new policies and updating some old ones. I spoke with Inspector General Lisa Green on the phone this afternoon. She said her office would not make recommendations about McKinney's future employment at JHA. That is a matter for the Board of Commissioners to decide. Now, we've reached out to JHA and McKinney's lawyer for comment. We're still awaiting any response. We do know that in a letter to the Inspector General dated September 16th of this year, McKinney's lawyer contended that none of the sexual relationships broke policy. Live in the newsroom, Jeff Ballant, First Coast News on your side.